Hi, I'm your Ate Monina and today I'm going to discuss motor proteins, kinesin and dynein. Motor protein are class of molecular that can move along the cytoplasm of animal cell. They convert chemical energy into mechanical work by the hydrolysis of ATP. First, what is kinesin? Kinesin are biological motor protein that are ATP dependent and transport cargoes inside cells by interacting with microtubules. A microtubules are microscopic hollow tube made of protein alpha and beta tubulin that are part of cell cytoskeleton, a network of protein filament that extend throughout the cell, give the cell shape, and keep its organelle in place. In 1984, kinesin was discovered by Ron Veil and his colleague after studying the nerve cell of his squid. Ron Veil is a cell biologist, a pioneer in the field of molecular motor, a tiny biological machine that can ferry cargo across cells. Kinesin molecule consists of two heavy chains and two leg chains. The heavy chains form a pair of globular heads and coil helical tail to which the leg chains attach. The head binds alternately to a microtubule, effectively walking along the microtubule using energy supplied by the hydrolysis of ATP. The tail region binds to a cargo such as vesicle or organelle which is thereby carried along. Kinesin play an essential role in vesicle and organelle transport. It transfers vesicle to the presynaptic axonal region in order for the mediation of synaptic transmission to occur. Studies show that it is capable of transporting diverse range of cargo, including but not limited to mitochondria, lysosome adapter, and receptor protein as well as a protein that are involved in signaling pathway interaction. In addition to this, kinesin is underscored by the serious medical consequences such as diseases like Parkinson, Alzheimer's, and Huntington which appear to implicate kinesin interaction with the disease-associated proteins. In further essential functioning, kinesin is necessary during cell division for the assembly of spindle, separation of centrosome, and attachment of chromosome to the spindle. This function highlights the importance and serves as a potential evidence that kinesin is an integral operative during mitosis and meiosis. Another motor protein is dynein. Dynein is a family of cytoskeletal motor protein that move along microtubule in cell. They convert the chemical energy stored in ATP to mechanical work. It was the first microtubule motors to be identified almost 50 years since it was discovered by Ian Gibbons. Ian Gibbons was a biophysicist and a cell biologist. He named and characterized the founding member of the dynein AT phase family of motor proteins and other microtubular components in cilia and flagellia. Dynein has three globular heads attached by the three flexible strands of a root-like base. It can be classified in two classes, axonimal dynein and cytoplasmic dynein. Axonimal dynein regulate microtubule sliding in the axonomer of cilia and flagellia, whereas cytoplasmic dynein movements or organelle and other cargo necessary for cellular function. Cytoplasmic dynein, a homodimer of two identical motor domains and several additional subunits attached to the non-motor tail domain, has numerous cargo and involved in many cellular function. Dynein performs a number of cytoplasmic cellular function. It serves as the power behind the transport member bound tubules and vesicle in conjunction with their occupant molecules. Unlike kinesin, this cargo is transported toward the minus end of the microtubule or they call retrograde. Organ transported along in the cytoskeletal highway include the lysosome, endosome, phagosome, peroxisome, melanosome, mitochondria, leafy droplets, and endoplasmic reticulum vesicle that headed to the Golgi. In additional function, dynein may play a role with certain viruses, albeit involuntarily, in the migration to the nucleus of the cell. 
it also has the capacity to exert tension on the structure within the cell. Many studies show biomolecular proteins such as kinesin, dynein, and many other motor proteins can be used as a potential treatment in diseases like neurological conditions and cancer. It hoped that it could be created which may detect and target cancer cells or travel within the human body and detect potential health problems. Hope you enjoy watching my video presentation and hope you learned something. Until next time, bye!